Welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I will cover all dictionary methods. Dictionary is one of the built-in data types in Python. And like everything else in Python, dictionaries are also objects. In Python, a dictionary is an unordered set of key value pairs, separated by a comma and enclosed within curly braces. You can think of telephone directory, in which you look for the telephone number of a person based on the name of the person. Similarly, in a dictionary, the values are mapped according to keys. A key can be any immutable object such as a string, a number, or a tuple, and the keys in a dictionary are unique. That is, a key can only be associated with a single value. In this example, I have created a dictionary object MyDictionary1, which contains three different key value pairs. Now, when I call the built in function directory on my dictionary object, it will return a list of all dictionary methods. The methods which start and end with double underscore are called special methods, and they are not dictionary specific methods. However, I have covered these methods in one of my other tutorials. Now let's start with first method clear. The clear method moves all the items from the dictionary. Let's see an example. In this example, I have dictionary object my dictionary one. Now when I call clear method on my dictionary one, the clear method deletes all the items from my dictionary one. The next method copy returns a shallow copy of the dictionary. In this example, I have dictionary object my dictionary one. And when I call copy method, copy method returns the shallow copy of my dictionary one. The class method from keys takes a sequence and a value as arguments, whereas the argument value is optional. It returns a dictionary object where keys are the sequence elements and their values are set to value argument. If no value argument is passed, then the keys have value of none. In this example, from keys method takes a sequence as first argument and then teacher value zero as second argument. And it returns a dictionary object where keys are sequence element and their values are set to 0, which is the value argument. In next example, the from keys method takes only a sequence as argument, so that all keys have value of none. The get method takes a key as an argument and returns its value. If there is no such key in the dictionary, get method returns either none or the default value, which is the second argument and it is optional. So get method never raises an exception. In this example, I have set the key argument to 1. The get method returns the value of key argument 1 from my dictionary. In next line, I have set the key argument to 10. Because there is no such key in my dictionary, get method returns none. In next line, I have set the default argument to 0. Now get method returns 0. Now let's look at next three methods which are very similar to each other. They return view objects, which provide dynamic view on dictionary entries, which means every time when the dictionary object changes, the view objects reflect these changes. The keys method returns a dictionary keys object that provides a dynamic view on all the keys of the dictionary object, whereas values method returns a dictionary values object, which provides dynamic view on all the values of the dictionary object. The items method returns a dictionary items object which is a non-sorted list of all key value pairs as triples. As I've mentioned before, all these three objects are view objects and they provide a dynamic view on the dictionary entries. So if you change your dictionary, these view objects will reflect these changes. Besides that, view objects are also iterable and they also support membership tests as shown in this example. The pop method takes a key as an argument and it returns its value and removes the key value pair from the dictionary. If there is no such key in the dictionary, pop method raises key error exception. But if the optional argument default is given and there is no such key in the dictionary, pop method returns the default value. Let's see an example. In this example, I have called the pop method with key argument set to key 1. The pop method returns its value and removes the key 1 from the dictionary. Now if I again try to remove key 1 from my dictionary, Python will raise key error exception. But if the default argument is given, Python will not raise the exception but returns the default value. 
The pop item method is just like pop method, but it removes and returns a random key value pair from the dictionary. If the dictionary is empty, pop item raises the key error exception. The set default method takes a key as an argument and returns its value only if the key is present in the dictionary. If there is no such key in the dictionary, set default method inserts the key with its value equals to default argument into the dictionary and also returns the default value. If default argument is not given, the value is always none. In this example, I call set default method with key argument set to key 1 and default argument equals to 40. Because key1 already exists in the dictionary, set default method returns the value associated with key1. In next example, I call set default method with key argument set to key4. Because there is no key4 in my dictionary, set default method adds key4 to my dictionary with its value equal to default argument, which is 40, and also returns 40. Similarly, in next example, set default method adds key5 to my dictionary. Because there is no second argument, the value of key5 will be none, and set default method also returns none. The update method updates a dictionary. It takes either another dictionary object as shown in this example, or an iterable of key value pairs, such as a tuple. If a key already exists in a dictionary, update method overwrites its value. I hope you have now basic understanding of all dictionary methods. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.